you can hear like many, many, many different things. So we're moving through a world, the sound all the time, but most people don't hear what's around them. You know? For me, it takes a while to discern because it's all sort of blended in and then if you relax, you can attune to, you know, the, the fountain over here and the bird chirping over here and the kid talking over there and the people talking all simultaneously. I know a lot of people who think they're very aware and, my, and they're not at all. They're, they're so, they're, the only thing they're really aware of is themselves and their own impulses and things, but they're not really in touch with their environment. I mean, we're all guilty of it, I'm sure, to some degree. It's an awareness of your own, your own perception without going, well, what else is there and what's, huh, why did somebody react to me like that or, you know what I mean? And it's a hard thing to practice all the time. Mindfulness. <laughs> I could stand some mindfulness and meditation. Things we just do without thinking about it, which that's actually speaking of practice. That's, you know, it's kind of a dichotomy that it can also, you can fall into bad habits by just being in your own head. Whatever, you see it every day, the way people drive or the way they don't pay any attention to people around them. But at the same time, that's how people transcend things, you know, like the best musicians, you know, far beyond my capabilities, you know, jazz guys. When they go off, they have all the foundations, but when they're off, they're not I don't, I don't believe I'm not in their head. They're not sitting there thinking about every note they're playing. You know what I mean? They've. So that's a weird. Uh, that's like such an, a complete awareness that every all the boundaries disappear. You know? Initially, I was thinking how the native peoples, when cameras first came around, thought that their soul was being taken. And so instead of that, I was saying, well, I'll show myself to you and my inner self just through thought. And um, so that's, that's kind of the spectrum of what I was thinking. Just it wasn't narrow, rather it was quite large, um, but not how we usually think so pragmatically, but rather ethereally. And then I could see my reflection. So I was didn't want to see my reflection, but rather I wanted to see into the camera or the depth. I mean, it became... I was... Um, really reflecting inwardly and it felt almost like a meditation and I was thinking about on the other side, who's on the other side, literally not of the camera. I was saying hello to the other side, to my parents. In this crazy time that we're in, when those who have the power are trying to feed us influence away from our inner selves and become this outer shell, um, kind of empty inside, responding only to things. Um, I spend a lot of time thinking inwardly and trying to be sensitive to others because ultimately I find it very important to to look directly or to respond in a very personal way or a very deep way 